reality, the oneness of God and all of his creation, awaits humanity's awakening with delighted anticipation in the certain knowledge that it is inevitable, that nothing can stop the process that you are undergoing or prevent you from entering into the glory that is your destiny and your heritage. The intense new energies that have been pouring across the planet since December 2012 have been sweeping all before them into reality's loving embrace, and this has led to a magnificent softening of attitudes in the hearts of all on the planet. As you follow the news as reported by your mainstream media, this is not immediately apparent because they focus on the bad news, political, economic, social, and religious, as their lead items but if you delve a little deeper you can see reports which confirm that a softening of attitudes is most definitely taking place. Concern for the impoverished, for the disadvantaged, for the unfairly treated, and for those who apparently cause or maintain them in those unhappy states is growing. It is apparent that people are no longer willing to ignore the corruption, the lies, and the deceit in which elected officials worldwide have been engaging in order to feather their own nests or to please those who have bought their loyalty and service, loyalty and service that is supposed to be applied for the good and the benefit of the whole electorate. A sea change is occurring which is bringing to an end the self-serving ways that have for so long been endemic all over the world, as love is penetrating all hearts, even those of the corrupted ones. Use the marvelous communications systems available to you all to seek out and interact with the vast numbers of loving beings who, like yourselves, are opening enthusiastically to the new energies that have arrived to assist you in recognizing who you truly are and to help you live up to the responsibilities that that awareness entails. Those communications systems are not limited to your new electronic technologies, which can be and frequently are very distracting, they also include spiritual insights obtained through channelings intuitive perceptions gleaned during meditation or after a good night's sleep, information from chance encounters with strangers and from books or news items that come to your attention seemingly by chance. Nothing happens by chance, it only seems like that because its purpose is not immediately apparent. You all, each and every single one of you, designed perfect life paths for yourselves with the help of your guides and angels before you incarnated as humans. Some of you have been following a life path so designed through many human lifetimes, picking it up again each time you reincarnated, while others have chosen a new path for each incarnation. Whichever kind of path you are on is perfectly suited to you, and will present you with exactly the lessons you need, and chose to learn, at precisely the right moment for maximum understanding to occur. Of course it frequently does not seem like that. You have to choose in the moment to be open to receive the understanding with which the lesson is presenting you. However, your egos frequently manage to persuade you that your learning is long since complete and that the lesson must be meant for someone else, a spouse, child, parent, sibling, friend, boss, or unenlightened one, and as a result you do not open yourselves to the insight offered, and the lesson will have to be repeated. The experiences you undergo during life in the illusion can be very stressful and cause you much suffering, and one of the major lessons that can be learned from those kinds of experiences is compassion. If you have not undergone suffering it is very difficult to understand compassion, let alone experience it. But as you look around you, you can hardly fail to observe suffering. Loving compassion offered and shared relieves suffering and enables the ones suffering to expand their awareness beyond that state. Fighting against it intensifies it, surrendering to it eases it. And remember that there is no one on earth who has not at some time or in some lifetime behaved in ways that were corrupt and unconscionable, and who has not also suffered under the oppression of people behaving in those ways, it is part of the illusory experience of being human. Therefore compassion is due to everyone having an earthly experience because it is one of the most effective and soothing bombs that leads to healing. Lack of compassion is an ego defense mechanism, a barrier set up to protect the one who hides behind it from suffering. It is a barrier that is frequently erected in childhood to block out unbearable distress, so full compassion is always warranted and needed if healing is to occur. And healing is an essential part of your awakening process. Embrace compassion, behave compassionately, offer compassion, and by doing so help to bring all closer to the grand moment of awakening. You chose this incarnation to do just this, and you have infinite assistance from those in the spiritual realms to enable you to put it into practice. 
your loving brother, Jesus, who is one of those constantly assisting you. 